Bentar. Today is the perfect rainy day and I love rainy days so much. I feel like I almost like them more than sunny days. I don't know if I can say that, but it's just getting a lot cooler outside. It's really starting to feel like fall and it's only the end of August and usually that would make me really upset, but it's been a relatively cool summer in Michigan. So at this point, I'm just ready to dive into fall because it's already kind of been feeling like fall, but a rainy day, in my opinion, it's the perfect time to just do some of the fun little things that you like to do inside and take some time for yourself because I feel like it's the perfect excuse. Like when the weather isn't nice outside, you can't really feel guilty about not going out and doing stuff. So I have my little tea here. This is so good. I made a little London fog almost, but vegan. And it is so good. I just love tea so much. I wanna take you through some of the things I like to do on a rainy day that kind of just help embrace the fact that it's a rainy day. So I've talked about journaling in a lot of my videos and I have like journaled in a lot of my videos, but I've never really gone into what I exactly do. I honestly wanna make a full video dedicated to how I journal and like all of my different journals that I use and things like that. But in this video, I wanna just show you some of the journal prompts that I like to use. Sometimes I'll just like write my feelings in a journal, but also sometimes I like to use these prompts. Journal prompts can just be a good way to get things flowing, especially if you have a hard time journaling or you don't exactly know what to write and they also help you almost understand yourself better. favorite method for journaling is to keep things really simple. Getting over complicated with decorating the pages and stuff can put less emphasis on the actual journaling and more on making it look pretty and that honestly like, causes me more anxiety just trying to make the pages like look pretty. So I go very simple. For this example, I'll use one highlighter color and just one of these little black like pen markers and I write the prompt and then I'll write my responses to the prompt. This one is really simple and it's one that I've done before but I think that it's a really good prompt if you are kind of just beginning journaling. I just did what makes me happy. This is also like what gives you energy, what raises your vibration, just what overall brings you joy in your day-to-day -day life. Some of the examples of things I wrote were having a routine slash plans like shopping, being artistic, being outside, traveling, watching movies, baking, doing self-care, listening to music, just some things that came to my mind. And then what brings me down slash what lowers my vibration, what makes me not feel good in a day-to-day -day basis, what things arise that make me not feel happy or good anymore. For me, there's some like big obvious ones like feeling anxious. I have very bad anxiety. This is something I deal with every single day and that's not really like an easy one for me to just get rid of because it's something I just will have to deal with forever but that's my first thing and then just not feeling well it goes hand in hand with being anxious. If I don't feel well in any way that can bring on anxiety for me. I'm having no structure to my days, meaning my day is just wide open and I don't create a plan for myself. I will end up getting overwhelmed almost and just like not do anything. I don't like that. Not eating well. Sometimes this can be hard because if I'm feeling anxious, I don't want to eat and then I feel worse from not eating. So that can be like rough for me, but that's just, this is just my personal things and my personal struggles. It's a really simple prompt and it might seem kind of obvious, but it's not always super often that you take the time to really sit down and think about what all the little things are that either bring positive energy and joy to your life and what things take away from that. So by doing this, you can recognize those things and add more of the happy things into your life, like actively target those things and find ways to actually make them happen more for yourself. The other side of that is the things that bring you down. I've actually done before where I will number each one. So if I wrote down four things, I'll write like one, two, three, four. And at the bottom of the page, I will write like a one and then I will write 
a sentence about how I can potentially decrease that in my life and then I'll write like two and then a way I can have less of that and then three four oh that helps you basically just make your life better allows you to think about ways that you can bring more good into your life and ha kind of fix the bad so that's a really simple prompt but I genuinely think that journaling like this and kind of doing some self-reflection just allows you to create the life that you want for yourself hopefully that is helpful for you next thing that I'm gonna do which is literally my favorite thing to do when it's raining and it's become like a tradition at this point every time it rains I end up doing this and that is grabbing a coloring book some colored pencils and sitting on my bed with my laptop and watching a movie or a show it's honestly the most amazing thing ever it's so simple but it's literally so much fun and it just feels so like cute and cozy and i love doing it the coloring book that i'm going through right now is this relaxing coloring one i honestly don't even remember where i got this i think it was like michael's or something and the colored pencils i use are prismacolor these are the best colored pencils ever my mom got me this huge set of them like for christmas one year like every color you can think of and they just work so well so i love them i definitely want to watch something cozy and kind of like fall-ish i would watch gilmore girls but i already just did a full rewatch of gilmore girls throughout the summer i think i'm gonna watch vampire diaries which I don't really like this page but I like told myself that I would color every page in order even if I don't like the page so I had to do that one <laughs> I just wanted something simple and quick. Got tofu and black beans that I like seasoned the heck out of. Avocado, broccoli, and I have some tahini on top. It's so good. listen to music while I read but it was really nice just having that record on in the background and I feel like I don't use my record player as much as I would like to but there's just something different about music from a record player rather than just on your phone it's just it's like an experience now I'm gonna go bake some muffins I absolutely love muffins and I love baking I'm so excited for fall to try a bunch of new fall recipes but for today I think I'm just gonna make like chocolate chip muffins kind of simple and basic but I'm saving all the pumpkin recipes for a little bit later on like in September and October literally love doing this on any rainy day literally like a month ago it was just a really stormy rainy day and I fully embraced it I watched all of the Twilight movies and I baked pumpkin muffins and I just like sat in my room. I basically did this exact whole thing that I did in this video. So let's go bake.
taste the apple cider vinegar. There's vinegar in here? Mm-hmm. Hmm, I did not taste that at all. Good, I'm glad. <laughs> 